So many uses for slick pour dip powder, and one way is to use it with monomer, aka nail liquid. Greg's gonna show you all the tricks you can do with it right now. In our next part of our Slick Pour series, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Young Nails Monomer with the Slick Pour Dipping Powders. All right, so before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and replicate our preparation. I'm gonna go ahead and push the cuticles back. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove shine from the surface of the nail. All right, so I'm gonna just gently feather around then use the arbor band to feather it from corner to corner. Once we're done doing that, I'm going to use a swipe to clean all of the oils, dust, and contaminants from the surface before we get into protein bond application. We are going to apply two coats to the surface. You're going to apply one coat on all 10 fingers, and then you're gonna go back and you're going to add your second coat. Okay. So there are many techniques when it comes to using monomer with a slick pour dipping powder. But what I'm going to be showing you today is a standard fade, something that we're going to use to build on the edge of the nail. We're going to use the color to extend the free edge. So what I wanna be able to do, I wanna go ahead and get my form and I'm going to set this flush to the natural nail, okay? Now, I'm going to create a two-tone fade. So I'm gonna be working with a couple of really nice reds. This is Sweet Bitter, okay? And then I'm also going to be working with this beautiful glitter. This is Love Blitz, all right? So once we build out the nail, we're going to be capping it with clear. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to build our free edge. I'm going to submerse my brush. I'm going to come in, I'm going to get a really nice bead. Right? And what I wanna be able to do is I wanna drain off the excess. When I set this down, I have to press and hold. This is going to allow me to release the product from the edge of my brush. Now what I'm going to be able to do so I'm going to be able to work the red right up to the edge. Right, so you can see I'm working with it and getting this really tight. I wanna be able to build a really nice extension. So I'm using this beautiful red acrylic to sculpt the tip, okay? All right, so once we actually have that extension, if you needed to add a little bit more, my recommendation is once you pick it up, drain it, and then once you set it down, make sure you hold it, right? All right so it releases from the brush really nice. All right, it's a very fine color powder, so it just takes a little bit more pressure when you're actually releasing it from the edge of your brush. All right, now, when we're working with the glitter, you have to remember that the slick pour glitters are very intense, right? Because they can be used with resin. They can be used with the conversion gels. But working with monomer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna submerse my brush, and I'm just going to touch the surface. It's going to pick up really easy. I am going to set this in between, right? and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work it across the edge Right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly fade this into the tip. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly fade this into the body. And you have to remember the intensity of this glitter is very rich. So what I wanna be able to do is I'm working it across the edge. I'm using this not only to mask the natural nail, I'm actually using this to mask the tip as well. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a nice fade between the natural nail, the glitter, and the red acrylic. But as you can see from the side profile, everything is very, very thin. If I need to come in with just a hair more, I can always add to the edge, right, just to kind of fill some space. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cap the design with Speed Clear. 
whenever you are working with any of the slick pour colors or the glitters, you're using that to create length. You're using that to create background. What you have to do is you have to cap it with clear powder. This is going to do two things. It's gonna prevent you from filing into the glitter and changing the color, and it's going to add strength to the color powder, so it's going to file like a strong acrylic nail. I'm gonna go ahead and get a really nice bead. I'm going to pick up a nice pearl. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the cuticle area. I'm quickly going to work that around, and as everything runs down, all I wanna be able to do is balance that over the upper arch. And you can see I'm kind of blending the sides in to cap it over the whole entire thing. As we get into doing more designs with slick pour and acrylic, you're going to notice that I cap the acrylic in clear most of the time. All right, I just need a little bit more over the tip. What I recommend doing is taking off a little bit of excess. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down here. I'm just going to blend that back through the nail. And you're going to notice with the excess that I have right here, I'm going to be able to use the body of the brush to work it over the enhancement. This is going to cure everything extremely well. And it's going to cap the design. All right, we're going to let this dry out. Then we're gonna file this into shape and I'm gonna show you how pretty this design looks like. Yo, what are you still doing here? Don't hang out here, go watch more of our videos. We've got a thousand nail videos, lots of them of me, which is what you should be doing right now. Head over and watch more videos.